Today in Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, Tetra Hearing Custom Shields. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and if you've been with our channel long, you know that we love to hunt, we absolutely love to shoot, and I'm pretty fond of being able to hear too. So a few years ago, when I met the folks at Tetra Hearing, they offered me the opportunity to test out their Alpha Shields. And I'd been wearing those Alpha Shields pretty much every time I went into the woods or to the range. Until last year, whenever they approached us about the opportunity to try out the Custom Shields. They were kind enough to get Robbie and I both set up with a pair. But they do not pay us anything additional for these reviews, and they have no input at all into what we say. So you can know that these are completely honest. There are several options. I have the multi-pursuit custom shields with Bluetooth and Robbie does not have Bluetooth. We have had these since last turkey season, so it's time to tell you what we think. Let's review this thing. As always, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. What makes these custom shields is that they are custom fit to your ears. I just went to a local audiologist and they did some custom ear molds. Tetra then uses those molds in their labs so that these fit in every crack and crevice that you have in your ear canal. And just to prove how custom they are, you can see a significant difference. Our ears are clearly shaped differently. Mine aren't gonna fit him and his aren't gonna fit me. They're real easy to put in. You just put this part that goes into the ear canal in first. And then sometimes you kind of have to tug on your ear a little bit just to make sure they're in there really good. But once they are, they are snug and they're not moving. I've never at all felt like they were gonna accidentally fall out. This ensures you're gonna achieve optimum passive hearing protection and it makes sure they're gonna fit perfectly into your ears. And these definitely do. Custom shields I can wear for five to six or more hours before I took them out. And I get to the point where I hardly even notice that they're there. Now, I've always preferred in-ear devices. I don't like those big headphones, but Robbie, on the other hand, has not really been a big fan. Most in-ear devices are just really uncomfortable for him. Although he doesn't wear his constantly like I do, he would tell you that he also finds these to be the absolute most comfortable he's ever worn. So as they should, the custom shields fit perfectly. So I'm gonna give fit a five out of five. Now are the Tetra custom shields as advertised. First, let me say that these are not your typical hearing protection. They do have a 26.5 decibel noise reduction rating, and they also work similar to other hearing protection by being able to hear people talking and things like that, even with them in. But I'd say that's where the similarities end. Tetra hearing devices were created and designed by actual audiologists. So the technology in these things is a lot more like hearing aids than just your off the shelf $100 hearing pro from Bass Pro. As a matter of fact, with many of these devices, you actually take a hearing test to determine if you may already have some hearing loss. Then they use that information to program the device to help correct any of that hearing loss you may have. And if one ear is worse than the other, then the technology is hopefully gonna help even that out for you so your hearing is more equal. So beyond just being able to hear your buddies at the range, the technology in these may make it so you can actually hear a turkey gobble for the first time in 10 years. One thing Tetra advertises about their devices is what they call Alpha Shield compression. What this means is, like we said, whenever you have these on, like you can still hear back, things right? going like on around there. you. But then when there's a loud sound like a gunshot or a hammer, then it shuts off that sound, but then you can continue to hear like normal. You know, a lot of hearing protection does that. But another thing with the Alpha Shield compression is that it also limits the output from sustained loud noises. So if you're in a duck blind and people are calling constantly, then it's gonna lower the amount of sound getting into your ear until that stops. And that's not just in the duck blind. These are also gonna do that with operating machinery like a tractor, a chainsaw, or in this case, a leaf blower. Probably though, the biggest thing that sets these devices apart from others is what they call specialized target optimization. Basically, depending on what program you're using, the devices will enhance the frequency of sounds you want to hear. For instance, if you have the turkey program going, then it's gonna increase the sounds that are happening at the frequency of a turkey gobble. So that way, if the turkey's way far off, you can pick that up where you may not be able to with your naked ears. Robbie can pretty much always hear turkeys better than me, but especially with these devices, I rarely miss any gobbles now. And sometimes I can hear ones he doesn't hear when I have my Tetris in and he doesn't. And the really cool thing is that you can hear the direction of where it's coming from. The same is true for the elk program. You're gonna be able to hear the frequency of the bugles and the barks more because of that setting. 
And the ones we have are the multi-pursuit. So these actually include all of the settings available. And you can change that setting with just the push of a button. Most other devices, especially all of the ones that you're gonna pay $100 or $200 for, basically just make everything louder. In addition, I also use those alpha shields, snow goose, duck, and tundra swan hunting. And I was very impressed with the way it optimized those sounds. And even more, these do an amazing job at blocking wind noise. They are much better than any other in-ear device or headphones I've ever used. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is that even though the sounds you want to hear are optimized, you're still gonna hear other sounds louder, like walking in leaves or on crunchy snow. I've been wearing Tetris for a few years now, so I've definitely gotten used to that. But this is Robbie's first year. If while we were hunting, we were gonna be walking a lot, he felt like he couldn't hear as well because he could hear the sounds of us walking. So at that point, he would just take them off and wear them around his neck, which then was really easy to get back in if we did get on a turkey. So how are we gonna score as advertised? The Tetra hearing devices, I think, do an amazing job and they do it better than anything I've used before. I do wanna take just a little bit off because it does optimize those other sounds, but I really don't think there's any way around that. And sometimes I can't really hear people talking as well as I would like if they're more than just a few feet away, but overall, they're awesome. So I'm gonna give as advertised a 4.8 out of five. Before we move on to the next section, after I've been wearing Tetris for a while, I reached out to them to see if we could maybe get a coupon code for you. So if you go to the links below, there is an affiliate link. So we will earn a small commission that costs you nothing if you decide to buy. And you can use our coupon code to get $100 off. Now onto construction and durability. I do want to point out that these devices are plastic, including the part that goes in your ears. Most of the time I don't even notice this, but if we've been walking for a long time or I've had them in for a while, then sometimes it feels like they're almost sweaty in your ears. So when we were turkey hunting, there were definitely times I just took them out and left them hanging around my neck. You're gonna wanna clean the plastic off because earwax will get on them. And similarly, you're gonna wanna clean and replace the wax guards as well. Our devices use disposable hearing aid batteries that you can get pretty much anywhere. They do have an upgrade where you can get them to be rechargeable, but I really like this better because you can wear them for hours at a time and then if the battery dies, you just switch it instead of having to plug it in to let it recharge. As far as battery life, we probably wore them for I don't know, 10 or 12 different days before the battery died. In order to prolong battery life, you just make sure that you turn it all the way off each time you're done using them. The volume control I showed you earlier can be just a little bit tricky because it's so small. Sometimes it can be hard to tell if you're actually turning it, especially if you're wearing gloves. Now, when you turn them on, it does give a voice to tell you what setting you're in, but that's only if you're turning them from an off position, or it'll tell you if you hit the program button. That button is also pretty tiny, but it's in a fairly natural position, I think, so it's easy to get to. They do have this little plastic loop where you can thread your lanyard through to keep you from losing them if you do take them out. And mine are Bluetooth. So if you wanna to listen to music or your favorite YouTube channel, I can insert the cord into each one, but then when you're hunting or at the range, you can take those cords out, which I absolutely love. And one nice thing is that the controls for the hearing devices and the Bluetooth are separate. So you can have the hearing turn completely off so you can't hear ambient sound and only your music. Or if you like running with music, then you can turn it on so you can still hear ambient noise, which is much safer if you're out and about. Now the cord is a bit long, especially if you're used to completely wireless earbuds, but at least you can remove it when you don't need it. And lastly, they do come with a little carry case that you can easily attach to like your turkey vest. The Bluetooth also come with a case for your Bluetooth cords. And then it comes with a hard plastic waterproof case where you can keep everything safe. Overall, we've been really pleased with construction. There are just a couple of little tricky things with how small the controls are, but the devices are really small. So there's not really much to be done about that. So because of that, we're gonna give construction and durability a 4.8 out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. Overall, most of the reviews are very positive, but there were some complaints. Most of the complaints have to do with the sound either being too loud, not loud enough, uh, too trebly, or too much ambient noise. I wanna make sure I mention here that a lot of that can be adjusted by Tetra with the programming. So if there's something you don't like about it, reach out to Tetra and see if they can make adjustments. Another person complained that the sound wasn't what they expected for the price. Now we'll get into the price in just a minute, but don't hesitate when you get your devices. If there's something you don't like, reach out to customer service. There is after all a 30 day money back guarantee. So you have 30 days to figure anything out that you want them to fix. 
Another person complained that earwax clogs them up. Yes, it does. That's why they provide a cleaning tool and replacement guards. I haven't had this problem, but he's had times where he couldn't hear out of them at all, and all he had to do was clean it out and replace those guards. And then another person said they loved how they blocked the sound of bird calls, but then sometimes they couldn't hear the person at the end of the blind. I would say that sometimes if somebody's more than five or 10 feet away, it can be a little difficult to hear them. Whenever that's going on, I just make sure I look at them and see their mouth move, and then I can usually hear pretty good. And then finally, there were a few complaints about customer service not responding. Most of those complaints were a year or two ago, and other people had really great things to say about customer service. Hopefully, everything is good to go now. You know, we're gonna tell you the score we found, so Custom Shields by Tetra get a 4.8 out of five. Now finally, should you buy this thing? The biggest question you need to ask yourself is how much technology do you want and need and how much do you want to spend? If all you want is to make sure your ears are protected while you are shooting at the range or hunting and you still just want to be able to hear people talk and you don't want to spend much money at all, these are not for you. But number one, if you already have hearing loss, then the customized corrections they make based on your hearing test may be a game changer and life changer for you. Plus, these block excess wind noise better than anything I've tried. On top of all of that, if you tend to have trouble getting off-the-shelf devices to fit comfortably in your ears, then the Custom Shield option may be exactly what you need. Depending on the upgrades and the programs you choose, these Custom Shields can range from $1,150 up to $3,600, which is a lot of money. But the question I would ask yourself is, how much is it worth to you? I'm pretty sure if I asked somebody who hasn't heard a turkey gobble in years because of their hearing damage, I think they'd say it's worth it. With that 30 day guarantee, if within that 30 days you find they're not worth it to you, then you can return them. I think they're absolutely amazing and to me, I wouldn't want to go hunting without them. I'm going to take a little bit off because of the price and give it a 4.8 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Tetra Hearing Custom Shield review video. While you're here, watch all the other videos, give us a thumbs up, share them with your friends, comment and let us know what you think. Check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Go to our Amazon store, our Holler store, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.